Okay, awesome. We are live. So, welcome to a fitness challenge. My name is Jen. I'm going to be leading you through a half hour challenge. In this case, today we're doing back and core. So, today we have some exercises. You will need weights and you will need a mat. Um, so, everything we're going to be doing through only once, but it's going to be 90 seconds at a time. So, it's a long time. So you may want to drop the weights down a little bit or have alternate options. Maybe like you have a 10 and you have an eight and you have a five, something like that, just so you can potentially change it out. We're going to go through form. We're going to go through doing good repetitions and kind of switch back and forth between some core and some back and upper back and lower back, all that jazz. So I'm going to grab a mat and I'm going to grab some weights. And that is completely just for my comfort. If you don't have one, that's totally fine. You could do it without it, but why not be comfortable? Hope you all had a wonderful new year. I'm going to have at my disposal a pair of 10s, a pair of 8s, and a pair of 5s. That's just where I think I'm going to be. Now, based on how I'm doing and the exercise that I'm doing, if I'm doing it with a pair of 5s, obviously the um, level of intensity, the speed I'm going to be doing is going to be different than if I have an 8. So adjust as, as you see fit. Grab my timer. Okay, so hopefully you're all here, you have your water, you have your space, we're good to go. Let's just move around, shake it out. Nice and loose. Move those arms around. Let's do just a little squat up and down. You can just control the depth here. Let's swing an arm, give yourself a little hug. Alternating which arm is on top. And let's open and close at that hip. One more each side. Oh, there's also no jumping today. Let's just swing forward back. Saying there's core and back assumes you're probably not jumping, but I'm sure there's some in interesting exercises out there. Let's cross in front and behind. Plow truck outside. Other side. Just front and back. Even though we're only working our abs and back today, we want to make sure that everything is nice and warm. Loose and limber. All right, let's lean forward, flat back. Let's just come up and down here. My knees are bent and I'm coming up and down. So it's my upper back that's kind of, it's my back that's hinging here at the hips. So two more, flat back. And let those arms hang, let that head do some, some yeses and some noes. Come back up to that flat back, bent knees. Let's open those arms and so we're here, flat back. And we do these with the weights. 
you can do one arm at a time. Let's do one arm at a time, open it up. We're not gonna do this with the weights, but we have no weights now, so we're just opening up, back in, opening up, back in, flat back the whole time. Let's do one more side. And come up and low intensity jumping jack. So as I said before, everything is 90 seconds, but that's a long time. If you need to take a break during that 90 seconds, adjust, do whatever you need to do, please do so. And then we'll have 30 seconds to grab some water and change up. Bring those arms to center and twist, center. Twist and hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Center and hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Center, shake it out. All right, first exercise, we have a super person. So we're just gonna be laying down on the ground and we're gonna be lifting the arms and lifting the legs up, maybe a couple, three or four seconds and then back down. Kind of holding, being down on the ground for two or three seconds, coming back up. All right, I'm gonna turn a little bit at an angle. Just my whole body is in frame. And we're going to start the clock in five seconds. So on the ground, please. All right, lifting up and back down. Once you're set, I would like you to have a nice neutral neck as in looking straight down. Squeezing those glutes, lifting those legs. Squeezing those shoulder blades, lifting those arms, keeping those shoulders down. Make sure that when you go up, you're holding it for longer than when you're down. Take a second, get situated, come back up, hold it, tap down, and then come right back up again. If you need to take a break, take it. But don't just take breaks by default. And that's part of knowing where your body is in space at any given time. We have 22 seconds, so this is what I mean. It's 90 seconds, it's a long time. Three, two, one. Okay, so this is gonna be our first exercise with weights. We're gonna do the reverse fly. So like we did in that warm up over here, this is the motion. So if you need smaller weights, grab them. I would highly suggest grabbing the smaller weights because it is a long time, like we just discovered. So I'm grabbing fives. And if I get too much, I can drop the weights completely or I can switch to alternating sides. But I'm going to lean over, have a flat back, and then I'm gonna come up. And I am in control this whole time. A little easier to see my arms with the pale skin against the blue versus the black. And I can switch, or I can totally drop those weights. You don't have to do these weights, it's just ask the resistance. Have a mirror next to you. Use it. Check. Or is your back flat? Are you hunching over? Flat in that back. It doesn't have to be flat. It's in here. 
I, I have it at an angle, but the line is straight. You have 10 more seconds. Three, a two, a one. All right, I'm gonna make sure my sides are equal because I separated them. And we're gonna go into a low bird dog or a bird dog in a quadruped position. So, we are here on all fours. And we're gonna switch back and forth between my right leg coming out and my left arm coming out and vice versa. If you're ready, good, set. So when I'm coming up, I want my thumb facing up, like I'm shaking somebody's hand. I want that leg to be up, I want those toes to come down, and then I'm gonna switch. You can hold it up as long as you want, just make sure each side is equal. And we're working across the body. When we do this again later, oops, no, I'm having a burn down here today. We're gonna do this in a plank position. So I want you to get comfortable with the motion. When we do it in plank later, you always have the option of coming back here. Make sure the thumb is up, the toes are down, and I would like you to bring that arm and leg to about the same height. I know it's a little hard if you don't have a mirror in front of you, but it wouldn't be a bad idea if you could. Maybe record yourself doing some exercises, things that you think you're doing correctly, so you can go back and check or have a mirror and relax. You can get a, um, a bath of door mirror at um, Home Depot for like eight bucks. Okay, next up we have saw. So our first formal ab exercise. We're gonna be in a plank on our forearms and on our toes and we're going to lean forward and back. So this is a long time, this 90 seconds. So take breaks when you need to, don't worry. So we're just kind of leaning forward on those arms and back. Now I'll show you when we do it in a second. Because we're going in three, two, one. So I'm here and I'm in plank. I have a flat back. I'm leaning forward and I'm coming back. I'm leaning forward. And that movement is coming from my feet. I am moving my center of gravity and challenging myself. And when I need to take a break, I take a break. I would much rather do you have to do amazing repetitions and less version less number of them than just whoop them out. And I'm in this plank. I'm not up here. I'm not resting up here. I'm resting down here. We have 38 seconds left. And this counter stretch I find is coming up here, stretching out those abs, giving those arms a little bit of a break. All right, 27 seconds. Can we go all the way through? The idea is for these exercises, at the end of the time period, you are going to want to stop. We have six, five, four, three, two, and all right, beautiful. Take a couple seconds. We have deadlifts are next. So I'm probably gonna grab two weights or one heavier weight, whatever works best. We're gonna do those hinges like we did at the beginning. Your weights are gonna be here. They're gonna come down and up. We're starting in five seconds. Okay, so weight turned front. You're going down below your knees roughly and back up. The distance that you go down is based 
on the flexibility of your low back. If your low back is nice and super warm, maybe you can go down deeper, but that back is not crunching over. I'm not doing that. Come up, reset. <clears throat> Shoulders are back and down. I'm not coming all the way up unless I'm purposely taking a break and that's fine. Otherwise, I'm in this like three quarter rep going on. And I'm not holding on breath. We have 30 seconds. we have a renegade rose so I'm just gonna grab one weight if you have weights that are curled curved like this I definitely want you to grab your single if you have like a hexagon type of shape you can grab two uh, I'm just gonna use one to alternate back and forth on each side if you want you can have one hand on one weight one hand on the other and we're gonna be in plank and we're gonna alternate each side all right, so you can either be in a full plank here, or you can be on your knees here, but we're alternating back and forth regardless, the arm motion is the same. We're pulling back and in, holding for a second, and switching out to the other side. Bringing that hand as close to underneath the shoulder as you can and dividing that weight amongst the whole hand. I am not rotating my whole body. I am not doing this. I'm not. I'm staying in a plank and I'm rowing up. A plank is just activating that core, getting a little bit more bang for your buck. If you're tired, come down to the quadruped position, but you're still doing the same thing. Your range of motion has dropped because you're closer to the ground. That's okay. Do what you need to do, rest up, and if you are ready, come back up. My feet are spread as wide as they need to be for my stability. Pull it out and relax. All right, we're back down to the ground for rocket people. So with our superman or our super person, our arms were out. With the rocket, your arms are back. It's the same motion, same thing, but your arms are back and coming up that way. That because you have your rocket on your back, you're finagling with the buttons on the rocket. That's what I call rocket. All right, so on the ground. Arms back behind you, head down, lift it up, hold it for a couple seconds, don't hold your breath, back down. So hopefully you have a little bit more range of motion on this one than you did with the super person at the beginning. One, because the arms are back behind you by your torso, so you're changing the lever of your body. And number two, you're warmer now. Squeezing those glutes, lifting those legs, coming back down, holding for only a second or two at the bottom, and lifting up and holding for two or three seconds at the top. Using this one as a little bit of an active recovery. 
We are more than halfway through the workout here. We have 10 more seconds. And one. All right, we're gonna to switch to those high bird dogs now. Now I'm gonna be in plank and I'm gonna be lifting the leg and the opposite arm. It's gonna be harder. I'm gonna lose my balance more. It's okay. I'm gonna do what I can and then I'm gonna rest. And if you need, if you decide that this is not for you, your balance is just not in it today, that's fine. Come back to the quadruped like we did before. All right, so I'm here in plank, and I'm lifting the arm and leg, and back down. I may be able to not lift it as high, but that's okay. And I'm not in a perfect plank, because obviously my legs and arms are making my torso at more of a, uh, an angle, but my back is flat regardless. I'm not here doing anything weird. I'm flat. When I need to break, I break, do whatever I need to do, come into a child's pose, or come into quadruped, and then I'm back in, right back into it. And my feet are spread wide. I'm giving myself a good base of support here. Another option for this exercise is if you have a stability ball, you can put that ball under the torso. And this maybe would be an intermediate version where we're lifting up higher, we have less contact to the ground, but maybe that plank is just too much for us today. Options for if you're doing this exercise in the future. All right, I'm just gonna stay here because we only have five more seconds left. Looking down to the ground the whole time, all right, what do we got next? We got bent over rows. So we're gonna stand back up. We have our weights. We're gonna have a flat back and we're gonna row here. If this gets to be too much, you can come up here, but it's getting to be a little bit more shoulder. We're here, we're kind of activating the core a little bit. Four. All right, let's point over. And you can, as before, alternate side to side if you want. And if you want to physically stand up and feel the difference, feel what you're working here and feel the difference. It's changing the body up, just the angles. Or palms up, feel the difference. They're not wrong. They're just different. Guess what? We have this, and then we have one more exercise left. Done. That exercise is a regular plank. And take a break when you need to. By this point, everything should be tired. So this plank and doing a 90 second plank should be challenging for you. So we're going to rest when we need to rest and work back in. Maybe at the beginning of the workout, you could do a 90 second plank, sing your favorite song, have a grand little time. But if you pitch the right weights and really focus on what your body can do, where your body is in space, it's going to be challenging for you. All right, we're back to the ground. Final 90 seconds. Remember that back is flat. We're on our toes, we're on our forearms. If you start kind of coming up into a little bit of a triangle or those hips are dropping, reset, take a break, grab some water, shake it out, and then come right back. All right, Imar, good, set. Great. My back flat, I think so, we're good.
We're 30 seconds down. Check. We have 30 seconds left. If you've done this minute so far, awesome, great, you're amazing. If you've had to take a break, guess what? You're still awesome and amazing, don't worry about it. All right, last 20 seconds, can we do it all together? stretch it out. Of course, if you're doing this workout from the beginning and doing a back-to-back -back session, you can skip the cool down this time, or if we're continuing on with something else, do your cool down when you're done. Activity completed. But, if you're like me, where it's now shower and lunch time, we're gonna stretch it out. <clears throat> All right, we ready? Just bring those arms back behind, open up that chest. And just turn one leg, stretch out that neck. And then center, and the other way. Into the center, release, and down to the ground. I'm gonna have you put your forearms on the ground. We're gonna go into puppy posture. So head is gonna be on the ground, forehead on the ground, and hips up in the air. And by leaning in a little bit with your nose, I'm kind of pushing my nose a little bit towards the ground, you'll kind of feel what you need to do to get a nice stretch in the low to mid back. Trying to relax the rest of your body as much as you can. Come on up a bit. We're going to bring those knees a little farther apart. Come back down. Sit back into those heels. And bring that head down. Pulling up and bring those knees together. Bring those hands back in front one more time. This time, walk them a little bit to the right side. Your head may not come to this close to the mat, that's fine. Minor towards my knees. And then to the other side. So I'm getting a little bit more upper body activation here. Whereas in the puppy posture, I got more lower back activation. Come back to the center, let's come all the way down on our bellies, bring those hands in front, come onto our forearms, and into a sphinx pose, so we're stretching out that torso. Draw up the head all the way in front. And now straighten those arms and come up a little higher. We're not walking out those elbows, but release it down. Push onto all fours. Tuck those toes under, and then walk the feet to meet the hands, or the hands to meet the feet. Hang here for a couple seconds and super slowly rolling it up to the top. Roll those shoulders back and down a few times. Bring those arms behind one more time. 
And we're done. Thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed this back and core workout. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.